Hey Moose fans, Low Moose here. How's everybody doing on this uh, Labor Day? Come on, lighten up a little bit. There it goes. Uh, it's going to be a relatively short video for me anyway. Uh, if you all remember uh, last year, I kind of showed you guys my improvised outdoor griddle. Now basically what I had done was taken a uh, old gas grill that I had bought when I first moved here in 2013 Got it from Academy. I think Outdoor Gourmet was the brand. <coughs> and it had, you know, like three burners in the gas grill. And then it also had a uh, side griddle. And that thing rusted out, you know, out here in this Texas heat and humidity. But I salvaged the griddle part of it. And last year I plopped it on top of my uh, Camp Chef 90 uh, three burner propane stove. And used it once. Nay, that worked out pretty good. Well, this video is actually compiling two into one, and that is uh, oh, about two weeks ago. I got a new kind of bacon from the Lowe's Market grocery store. Um, Cloverdale Triple Smoked Applewood Bacon Extra Thick Cut. Man, this stuff is good, people. If you can find that where you're at, you got to give this a try. If you like applewood, smoked bacon, and thick cut, this is the best of the best. <coughs> I mean, the smell of the smoke just as you're cooking it on the griddle smells like you're standing right beside the smoker. It, it's awesome. Uh, but anyway, a couple of weeks ago, I fried up, you know, a uh, whole package. And I use a little bit of it every day in... I buy these breakfast bowls and I take one piece of bacon and crumble it up in there to add a little extra uh, meat into it. And then, uh, so yesterday, and I had gotten some more uh, bacon and I also had some uh, pork chops. I buy these big packs of uh, pork chops from Costco. And so I had smoked up half of them a while back and froze the other pieces. So I figured, okay, when I was done with the bacon, then I went ahead and just threw the pork chops on the griddle to see how it went. No breading, no nothing. Just some seasoning, some Morton's Nature seasoning. And I had some of those for lunch today. Oh, let me tell you, that's some of the best pork chops I've had in a long time. Uh, and then afterwards, I took and scrambled up some eggs on there. Of course, I didn't shoot any video of that. Um, so basically, this is just a compilation of those. Uh, really, what this is more than anything is for Nina and Josh because we have our uh, chili cook-off coming up here uh, next month. October, it'll be I think 16th, 17th outside of Bowling Green and Nina actually posted a channel, a video on her channel, Wood and Water Outdoors, not long ago, uh, you know a couple days ago, that showed the campground. I think that's where we're doing the cook-off. Uh, but and I've since emailed, messaged them, you know, told them I'm bringing that set up with me. I'm bringing some of that bacon with me. Uh, you know, Nina does a lot of camp cooking. I love doing camp cooking. So, you know, we'll be camped out for a couple of days or, you know, maybe from Friday night, Saturday night and part of Sunday. Uh, so we're going to be eating good. Uh, but I wanted to kind of be able to show them what this thing is. That's what this video is for. Uh, but also, I hope you guys like it. <coughs> if you do, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you hit the notify bell, you'll be notified when I make new videos. Uh, as of five minutes ago, I'm at 893 subscribers. I'm getting closer and closer to that thousand. Um, hopefully, I will get there by the end of October. Maybe our chili cook-off video will be the one that uh, pushes it over the top. But, you know, this is, this is a partnership for you guys, so please leave me your thoughts down below. I mean, you don't have to go out and spend a hell of a lot of money to buy a Blackstone. And they're great griddles. Don't get me wrong at all. Uh, you know, if I didn't have these pieces I could cobble together, I probably would have got one. In fact, I've already got a small one up uh, in storage in Alaska. It's a combination griddle with a burner to the side and a deep fryer pan on it. And when I go up to Alaska in a couple of weeks, uh, I'll be using that to cook some meals when I'm messing around up on the property. And so maybe there'll be a video of that coming. I don't know yet. Uh, but anyway, leave me your thoughts and comments below. If there's, sorry, my nose is itching. If there's any other kind of videos uh, you guys would like to see me make, you know, along the cooking lines or anything, uh, you know, let me know. I'll try and accommodate you guys. Anyway, this is Lone Moose out. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your Labor Day, whatever's left of it. Uh, hopefully, wherever you guys live, the weather will start breaking now and start cooling down. It's not down here in South Texas. 
heat index was 101 here today. I think it was 103 yesterday. So it's pretty brutal. But hopefully you guys have a much better environment to enjoy the coming fall. And I will see you all when we do the next video. What better way to start the Sunday off than cooking up some applewood bacon, triple slow smoked, and extra thick cut on my improvised outdoor griddle. So that griddle went to an old gas grill, and I just set it up here on top of my three burner uh, Camp Chef Pro Navy. It's a, it's a whole lot easier than trying to do this when skillet in the kitchen, and a whole lot less messy. So, once this gets done, then I'll go cooking up some eggs and stuff to go with it. See how this turns out. Now, uh, I'm ending. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> yeah, I spilled a little bacon grease from my cup up there. And that old dog came running around the pool 90 to nothing. And boy, Gonja just stopped and flipped a 180 like I've never seen him do. <laughs> silly dog. You silly dog. Cleaning up daddy's mess. Well, it's almost done. I tried a piece and this stuff is awesome. You can, you can smell the applewood smoke while it's cooking. You can really taste it when you're baking. This extra thick cut lets it get done, but it's still kind of chewy. Man, it's got to be some of the best bacon I've ever had. Next to uh, the bacon I cure and uh, smoke on my own, that is. I like that a lot, too. This is really, really good. Your mission this morning, Jim, should you decide to accept it, is to resist the temptation to call me an absolute asshole for teasing you with all of this great bacon. This stuff is really good. Well, I'm um, doing my second big outdoor bacon frying. This is Labor Day weekend. The first batch is already done and on the uh, plate. But this is coming along really good. I'm liking how this griddle, the more I'm using it, the more it's seasoning and, and really working well. And I'm getting the hang of the temperatures on it using this Camp Chef triple burner. Although, I'm not using burner number three. Uh, then after this finishes up, I'm going to uh, take and fry up got six pork chops here that uh, were the second half of a big package I bought at Costco a while back so that I'll have something to eat on for lunch and dinner during the work week. So, hope this is making y'all hungry. I wish you could smell it. This is that triple applewood smoked bacon thick cut and man, it was awesome and it smells even better. Okay, pork chops are on the griddle now. Bacon's done, resting in the house. I just hit them with a little bit of nature seasoning and fry them up and see what happens with that. Look at the side of that big honking thing. That's going to take a while. And then I may do me some uh, scrambled eggs on here after a while. I haven't decided if I'm doing that here or in the house. I may have some scrambled eggs and a pork chop and some bacon for breakfast. Sounds like a winner to me. Now, I did not put any kind of coating, breading, anything on these. This is just the pork chop itself on the griddle. And you see how it's getting to caramelize and crushed up a little bit there? Now, that's what I really like to see in my grilled pork chop. So, I'm going to season up this side and cook a little more and we'll see how it's going. As just a kind of a reminder to you guys, you know, I don't have one of the big fancy Blackstones or other people's uh, outdoor griddles. But what I did was I took that metal griddle that used to be on a gas grill that I had that long since rusted apart, kept it. And I've got this nice big Camp Chef free burner stove. And so a while back I thought, well, hmm, why don't I put the griddle on top of the stove and let's see what happens. And so this is the second time I've used it like this for cooking bacon and now pork chops. And I'm really liking how it's working out. So you don't have to always go spend a whole lot of money if you've got some things like this. 
that you can kind of cobble together your own, and it still gets the job done. 